If you're following Depp and Heard and you have been for a while, I'm sure the questions come up to you publicly and privately. Why are people still talking about it? Well, there's a few answers to that I want to get into. But the thing that sparked me off on this was this tweet here by Not Gene Thurney. And I got to say off the bat, this is not, I'm right, you're wrong. This is not, I gotcha, that kind of thing. I'm just using this tweet here as something to talk about because Gene was inquiring. So it says, I don't know why after a year and a half, we're still talking about that first herd. It's over, it's been over. She was exposed as a covetous hoaxer and he was proven to have been defamed by her and her lies. It doesn't matter how many times the crazy town players try and peddle their fallen queen. It's done. The tide will never turn, and us arguing with them is what they want. It keeps them relevant, so I say we just block and mute the whole damn community. I'm really tired of this kind of thing. Okay, so first of all, I don't believe in blocking, especially on Twitter where you can say what you want, basically. So we disagree there. I blocked someone recently because they said something about my wife and I was like, you know what? Let me block them. They don't know my wife. This is ridiculous. But then I figured, you know, I'm just being weak. I'm being soft. Let them say what they want. It pretty much just looks bad on them. So there's that. I've still not blocked anyone ever. Aside from obvious ads and spam. But as far as people. Anyway, here's the first point, the very simple point as why people still talk about it. It's part of history now. It's part of the culture now. The same thing Michael Jackson and OJ Simpson went through and Bill Clinton with Monica Lewinsky and all that kind of thing. It's not something that just goes away. I mean, it'll be out of the main news cycle, but people always talk about it. You don't have to say to someone, how come you're still talking about Michael Jackson? That's old news because it was just big news and now it's just part of the talk. Same thing, like I said, about Bill Clinton. People will just talk about it. It'll come up. You might be like, oh, this isn't new. But, you know, what are people saying about it? So on that level, it's just now permanently part of the culture. Second, and this is my point, Amber is still in Aquaman 2. She hasn't just gone away. She's still out there. And I think it's good to spread what she did and the facts of the court case to encourage people to vote with their wallet on the movie. If you just let it go, block them, ignore it, don't debate it, you don't want to keep ruffling things up because the case is old, well, that won't help. If we were at a point now where Aquaman was said and done, and we're like a year past that, okay, I mean, I get it. At that point, it might not be in the main cycle, but she still has a chance because if Aquaman 2 does great, and I know you think it's going to bomb, some people are like, oh, it's going to bomb, it's going to do bad. Well, it hasn't yet. It might. It probably will, but it might not. We don't know until it happens. I know you won't forget. I'm a broken record. I know Johnny fans won't forget. I know real abuse victims won't forget the facts, but the middle people on the fence will, and they'll just see it. In the same way, I'll just see a movie and not research every single little thing every actor didn't decide or not. I'm going to see Dune 2. I'm not going to research anything about anyone because I really want to see it. No spoilers. So if someone's like that with Aquaman 2, maybe you catch one of them and they say, oh, yeah, you know what? Right. I forgot about that. That did happen. Maybe I won't see it. That's what I'm saying about that. Point number three, it was a legal case and legal cases stick around forever. There are legal details that we want out there in the public talked about for future cases that might be similar. I mean, Johnny fans for so long have said, we want this thing out there. Get the facts out there. Get it to court. Let everyone know. Prove Amber was in the wrong. Prove she defamed Johnny. But then say, oh, that's done. Let's forget about it. Let's everybody forget about it. No, no, no. You don't want people to forget. The point was to make this case in public as big as possible so people wouldn't forget. And now you're saying, well, let's just forget it. That's an emotional reaction and that doesn't make sense. The entire point, if you remember, before the case, long before the case, was to get it out there and have it set in stone. That's my silly little opinion. And Laura B here says, I mostly agree but when their BS are so big, I must call them out. And yeah, that's a fair point too. I mean, do you want them to just keep spreading this false stuff? 
Another thing I've said is if you back away and block and forget, well, that just lets their information flourish and then support grows. And what's coming up? Aquaman 2, we still got five or six months. So their accounts will go from 10,000 to 15 to 20,000 or whatever, and they'll get more traction because, well, I guess you didn't feel like talking about it anymore or something like that. And Steph here brings up a good point. She says, in essence, she's never going to stop, but she's going to keep track of how much time she uses. So before the case, obviously, the time spent was better because nothing was resolved. We want the best info out there as possible. But after the case, it's not quite as important because it is resolved, but that doesn't mean to stop completely. That's where I'm at. Basically, with Twitter, social media, things like that, I'm not going to quit anything, but keep an eye on the time. I'm no longer going to just let it go until I feel like it. Also, I've got to mention that Gene did say that not every word was perfect, as is the case in many videos and tweets and things. And I want to bring up another point with what Gene says here. I guess I should have worded myself more clearly in my last post. I'm not against the conversation, just the repercussions of supporting JD in the rabid H stands minds. If you do, your whole life and everything in it is up for public consumption and ruination. That's the part of the culture war that's unacceptable. Amber fans and JD fans will be fighting and things will be up for consumption and ruination and that kind of thing to an extent. But the thing is, it's not really about the two people arguing or the people in those threads and everything. It's about the people reading it. So if I make a video that gets 10,000 views and some other YouTuber argues with me, yes, we're the ones on the platform, but what's important is what the people are taking away with it from thinking about it. And what I'm saying is we want them to take away, they're going to vote with their wallet when Aquaman 2 comes out. So if you get my drift, what matters is the people looking in who are going to make a decision. And the people in the spotlight are just a tiny, tiny, tiny portion compared to the average viewer and the users on the platform. So don't worry so much about you if your tweet gets out there and gets thousands of views or something and the people who are against you and the people who are seeing their tweets and agreeing with them. The point is the people who are influenced by the conversation. And now what we're hoping is that they'll see that we're on the right side and they'll make that correct vote with their wallet. So that's why go ahead and debate it. That's my opinion based on getting towards 3,000 videos here, thinking about comments, thinking about what's said about me, thinking about what's said about Johnny and Amber and whoever else, and coming to a conclusion. Anyway, if you're not subscribed here, consider it. Once again, no bad air. Jean's got a great account. Just kind of thinking things out here. Maybe check her out. Give her a follow on Twitter. Consider subscribing here at the channel. I'm on Twitter also, almost 3,000 followers. Maybe give me a follow. I've been under 3,000 for like six months now, just trying to break that number. And if you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.